hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or fully electric. There are different levels of electrification on today's new cars. Let's talk about it. This Honda CRV is a hybrid. It has both a traditional gas-powered engine and an electric motor. The battery is self-charging by everyday driving and from regenerative braking. Regenerative braking means that every time you're slowing down, you take your foot off the gas pedal or you're coasting, that kinetic energy is going back into the battery. So you never have to plug in a hybrid. This Toyota Prius Prime is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or PHEV. It has both a traditional gas powered engine and electric motor. This one gets up to 44 miles in pure electric range. I love PHEVs because I can plug them in overnight at home on just a level one charger and get that full 44 miles in range every day. That means I'm not using any gas during the week, but I still have that gas powered engine for longer road trips, even just drives downtown for date night and weekends away. I love PHEVs for that reason. Next up, we have a fully electric vehicle or EV. EVs don't have a gas powered engine, just one or more electric motors. EVs are powered by a battery, which is made up of thousands of small battery cells. And it's usually laying across the bottom of the floor of the car in between the wheels, which adds stability and weight. EVs need to be plugged in, whether at home or at a public charging station to charge the battery. But they also charge using regenerative braking when you're slowing down, taking your foot off the throttle or coasting. That energy goes back into the battery and charges it while you're driving. So generally driving a hybrid feels exactly the same as driving a gas engine car. The only big difference is when you start a hybrid, it will start in electric mode. So it's really quiet. And then as you accelerate, if you're passing or merging or even just coming off of a stoplight, you might hear the gas engine kick in when it needs to for power. As you can see on this screen, we're going slow enough that right now the electric motor is powering all four wheels and it's getting its power from the battery here. Some use regenerative braking more than others. This Honda CRV has B mode, which I'm currently in, which is the max region for this hybrid. Now, as I slow down, you can see that the regenerative braking is putting energy back into the battery. Let's talk more about regenerative braking and how it works in this Toyota Prius Prime. Regenerative braking takes the kinetic energy every time you brake, slow down, coast, or go downhill, and puts that energy back into the battery, charging it as you're driving. Think of it like driving over a mountain. When you're driving uphill, your car is using a lot of battery and energy to go up that hill. But as you get over the mountain and you coast downhill and brake, all of that energy is going back into charging your battery. When you use the hold or charge button on a PHEV, it will fully charge the battery as you're driving using the kinetic energy and the gas engine. If you want to get the most out of your PHEV, you're going to want to plug it in every night. If you plug in your plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, you will get the most amount of electric range from it. Meaning, in this Toyota Prius Prime, I'm going to get up to 44 miles in electric range if I just simply plug it in every night at home and throughout the week, my commute is shorter than that, I'm not going to use any gas at all. The main differences between gas powered and electrified are power and performance and fueling and maintenance. With power and performance, you're going to get that instant torque and you're going to feel like you have a lot more power immediately in any EV over a gas powered engine. Fueling, obviously, you are using gas in hybrid and PHEVs as well as electric energy. And in EVs, you're just charging. For maintenance, you're going to want to check your user's manual because, of course, you're still getting oil changes and that type of maintenance with a hybrid or a PHEV. In an electric car, you have to pay more attention to your tires and you should be checking your manual to see what other types of maintenance it's going to need. Whether you're choosing hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or fully electric, they're all great choices for being more efficient on the road today. Thanks for watching True Car on Tech. If you've got questions, we've got answers. Leave us a question or a comment.